Hey there, everyone. I made a video before about living with depression. And then I thought, well, that's not the only problem I have. So why not go with another major problem in my life? And that would be scoliosis, which a lot of people apparently haven't heard of. So I've had to describe it to them as a curvature of the spine, which is basically what it is. And straight from Wikipedia, it says, Scoliosis is a medical condition in which a person's spinal axis has a three-dimensional deviation. Which, yeah, pretty much. It's deviated off its course of just being straight. It curves. Mine curves on the upper right and, like, the lower left. So it's kind of like an S shape. Which is a, a bit of a problem, really, to say the least. I mean... I was about 10, I guess, when I discovered I had scoliosis. But I might have even had it f since birth, I don't know. Because th that was the first time they had checked for it, I believe. Um, back then, when I was a kid, it was pretty minor. But um, as I got older and grew, the curve just got worse on its own. And went from a very slight minor curve, not even noticeable, to being pretty noticeable. I mean, if I took off my shirt right now, you'd see a, and I turned around, you'd see a very, like, like a strange sight. But, you know, it's just one of the things you have to live with when you're living with scoliosis. And besides just the actual, um, aesthetic part, you know, sometimes it's pretty hard to, you know, wear shirts easily because they might hang off because of the curve. You know, but even more important than that, it's very limiting physically. When it gets to a severe range, which mine is already in, it can be very painful. Very painful. It's, it's terrible. I guess I wouldn't really wish it on anyone. It hurts. But um, a little more about it in general, really. Um, I believe, I don't know how they measure it, but... I know that they use degrees, so anywhere from, um, you know, I guess 1 to 25 or so, I believe is, um, like, beginner, and that's not too bad. Usually doesn't cause any pain, I believe, or anything like that, and it's barely noticeable. And I believe over 25 to, like, probably 50, I think is, um, intermediate or moderate, you know, it's in the middle. It might cause a little pain, might be a little more noticeable and everything, and it's, a little bit more serious, but um, you know, than anything over 50, you know, it's severe. So like 50 to like 80 or something maybe, or like it's severe, I believe. And then when you get into the higher range, like 90s or like a hundred degree curve, I would be that I believe that would be considered um very severe. And luckily, right now mine is um well, I have two curves like I said, but um the the worst curve is um like in the 70s range, so it's definitely severe. That's not even a doubt. That's where the major pain comes in, and the ability to cause other problems with the um body. Severe scoliosis can affect pretty much anything, because the spine is the center of the human body. So um cause pain in any of the um, ligaments, I guess you could say. Um, joint pain, um, it can cause neck pain, headaches, it can cause gastrointestinal um, problems, um, bladder problems, um, not to mention, of course, just general back pain, chest pain, um, Pain in the side. I guess it depends on where the curve is at and how much it is, of course. But um, it is not easy. My scoliosis has been severe since I was like um, maybe 16, 17, teenager. So it's been a few years already. And luckily now it doesn't really get any worse. The time it really does. If it does 
get worse. It is going to be during your teenage years when you're growing and childhood. So since I'm done growing already, that's I don't really got to worry about it getting worse. But I mean, it's already at a pretty bad position now, which is the part that sucks, you know. But it's, it's not easy to deal with. Get out of breath pretty easily. Can't really do things like too physical. Extended amount of walking, running, sitting, anything for any extended period of time causes a lot of pain from like the chest, back, sides, all the way down to the hips, all the way down more to the knees or to the feet, ankles even. And it can cause other problems like if it's too severe, the curve of the spine and rotation of the ribs can cause heart problems and difficulty breathing, you know, lung problems, <sighs> which from what I've read is the main cause of um, death with people, for people with um, severe scoliosis, is they die from lung disorders and heart problems that cause, that came from the scoliosis itself, the curve, putting pressure on the other organs. So, I mean, it's always something in the back of my mind that I have to keep with me. That's just something that makes it a little harder to deal with scoliosis. Not to mention also that this caused me to be shorter than I probably should. Because of it spine not being straight, it being curved, it makes you just lose some height. Maybe two or three inches. Which, you know. I would like to be taller. That isn't the main issue, of course, but it is something to think about. You know, especially when people are getting on you about being short, you know, it's, but they don't know anything about what you're going through. It's ridiculous. One of the major problems really is the uh, fact of not being able to work, especially anything physical. I had to quit two jobs already in the past. Um. And it would be even more if I had continued to try to keep working throughout the pain, through the pain, which of course was unbearable. At some point it was so bad. Well, usually it was so bad I'd directly have to work, I'd have to come home, just go right to bed, and I'd just lay in bed just thinking about how bad this hurts. And it really isn't any way to live. I mean, but, you know, people who can relate, they already know how that is, probably. But one thing that's really difficult to deal with, too, is um, when people get on you and try to hate you because you can't do something. And they just think you're being lazy because you're youthful, young, and all that. And you're not doing something physical when they don't even know you and the things that you have to go through. When in reality, I would love to be doing something. Every day it hurts when I wake up and think about how I can't be doing the things that someone else my age is doing. I mean, I can't help the way I was born, but it seems like people always expect you to be perfect. And I think everyone should know by now that no human being is perfect. That's ridiculous. I don't really know any other people with scoliosis. I might have met one or two in my past. But I'm pretty sure they can relate. But people who don't even have the sympathy or empathy, the ability to care, or even put themselves in someone else's shoes, should simply either learn to do it, or leave people like me alone, okay? Physical handicaps or mental are not a game, it's not a joke, it's not something to be teased about, not something to be bullied about, it's not something to hate someone for. You should try to care, love, understand them. I mean, really, I mean, some things just go hand in hand. A hateful person, I guess it's just going to hate, regardless of what's um, going on. 
but you know to wrap things up just know that this isn't something to play with people really do have problems stopping them from doing what they want to do physical mental emotional some obstacles are harder to overcome than others but never in your life hate someone for the way they were born it's disgusting